Cargo Insurance Cargo insurance, commonly known as marine insurance, occupies an important position in international business. It provides protection against unanticipated business to participate more freely in the business and expands the scope of their operations. Cargo insurance protects the traders and others against the risk of loss or damage to goods in transit from the seller to the buyer. A trader engaged in international business can protect his interests by taking an appropriate insurance policy from an insurance company. In this lesson, we will learn the need for cargo insurance, various kinds of perils and types of losses. We will also be acquainted with the documentation procedure for filing insurance claims. After studying this lesson, you should be able to understand cargo insurance, nature of cargo insurance policies, various types of losses, stages of shipment. There are two reasons for securing the insurance cover. The first reason concerns the legal dimension of limited liability of the carriers and other intermediaries. The second reason concerns commercial considerations. When the goods are in transit from the exporter to the importer, they are at different stages, in the custody of different agencies and authorities, including the clearing and forwarding agents, carriers, port and custom authorities, etc. If there is any loss or damage to the goods while in their custody, the concerned intermediary may be held liable to pay damages to the cargo owners. From the point of view of an exporter, a transaction is complete as soon as the importer either pays for the bill of exchange on its presentation or he undertakes to make payment at a future date by accepting the bill. Sometimes, even before the bill of exchange is presented to the importer, he gets to know about the loss of goods in transit and does not accept the bill when presented. In such a situation, the exporter is compelled to bear the loss. Prudent exporters, when dealing with unknown customers on DP or DA payment terms, prefer to get cargo insured. A marine or cargo insurance policy has an international character and therefore a policy taken in one country is acceptable in other countries. This is because of the adoption of universally acceptable uniform rules governing insurance in different countries. Article 3 of the Indian Marine Insurance Act 1963 defines marine insurance contract as it is an agreement whereby the insurer undertakes to indemnify the assured in the manner and to extend thereby agreed against marine losses, that is to say, the losses incidental to marine adventure. The insurance contract is in the nature of indemnity. The literal meaning of the indemnity is protection against loss on making good the loss. The object of an insurance contract is to place the insured after a loss in the same relative position in which he would have stood had no loss occurred. In other words, an insured can claim only that much that lie has suffered or lost. Losses may be of many types, like total loss, which may further be actual or constructive, partial losses, which may be general average and particular average, then there might be coverage and institute cargo clause, exclusion clauses and recoverable expenses. The stages of the shipping process involves filling of documents with the customs authorities for checking genuineness of the transaction and for obtaining examination order, payment of port charges, obtaining permission of the shipping company to bring cargo into the shipment shed, obtaining permission from the shed superintendent 
for bringing the cargo into the shipment shed. Arranging for transport of cargo to move into the shipment shed through port gate. Permission of the gate inspector to move cargo into the port area. Unloading of cargo in the shipment shed. Examination of cargo by the customs authorities and obtaining let export order. Obtaining let ship order from the customs preventive officer prior to loading. Issuance of mate's receipt by the master of the vessel. Obtaining fact of shipment certificate from the customs preventive office. Now let us check our progress by suggesting if the given statements are right or wrong. Exclusion loss is a total loss when the cost of saving, repairing or reconditioning the insured goods is more than the value of goods. Right or wrong? Wrong. Maritime perils are perils to which the cargo is exposed in transit and caused by either an act of God or an act of man. Right or wrong? Right. CTL stands for construction total loss. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Cargo or maritime insurance is the practice of providing risk cover to the cargo owners against loss or damage that the cargo may suffer in transit due to accidents and mishaps. The perils which cause loss or damage may be due to natural calamities as well as man-made accidents. Traders obtain insurance covers in international business because of two reasons, legal and commercial. Since law protects the intermediaries who handle and transport cargo, the cargo owners will be able to recover loss from the insurance company when such loss can't be legally recovered from the intermediaries. Commercially, insurance cover is essential to be obtained by the exporter when it is required under an export contract as in the case of CIF contract. Under Section 40 of the Indian Customs Act, an overseas carrier cannot permit loading of goods without permission from the customs authorities. Custom control ensures that nothing goes out of the country against the laws of the land.